So today we are going to see how to analyze a beam using ETFs and find the reaction bending moment diagram and SFT diagram from this uh, uh, ETFs model. So we are going to draw this diagram in ETFs first, then assign the support condition, and then assign the loading, and then run analysis. So steps are pretty simple. One is first, grid. We have to draw the grid. So let's start new model. We'll use the uh, user save default settings. Then okay. So how many grids will be required here? One, this is one, two, three, four. So we'll be requiring four lines in X direction and Y direction, will, one will be enough. And here the uniform grid spacing, grid spacing, for example, this is 10 feet, 12 feet, six feet. So we can give any, any, any value, 10 feet. And number of stories, two is enough. Story height doesn't matter. Here, there is another uh, way to uh, fix the spacing from here. You see, here. We can do it from here. You see, every, every spacing is here, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet. So that's why 0, 10, 20, 30. We can change it like this. Tahole A take a B a distance koto, eta hoche A, eta hoche B. So A take a B a distance 10 feet, that's fine. And from B to C, the distance is 10. So B to C, here it's 12 feet. So we can change it to 12 feet. And from C to D, it's 6 feet. This is 6 feet. So we can do it on the fly. Okay. So here to check it. Again, we can see it from here. Now, I can take a look at the A take a B spacing for the dosh feet, a for a hot So, since this is ordinate, ordinate, the starting point will be zero, then 10 feet, 10 plus 12 is 22, then it's 28. So, ordinate, it starts from zero, and that ends summing up all the dimensions. Okay. 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 So now if we want to draw the diagram, we just go to any elevation view. So this is our elevation one. Okay. Maybe I can delete this 3D view. So here, since we did not provide any specific information about the section of the beam, we just randomly draw any frame. It may be RCC or steel, it doesn't matter. So we draw a beam. So beam here, we can draw it like this here to here, then again here, then again here. So we press the right button. So the first time we did the beam take a fell. What did we do? I mean, it is just delete code. I repeat for this thing. Edit, delete. So here, then we click the left icon. Whenever we uh, approach the mouse to here, then you see there is a Snapping the grid point. Otherwise, we do not click. So when the this uh, snap grid point A and of story one appears, then we click left. Whenever the snapping also appears here, we click grid point B. Then we click here, and we, then we click here. Then we click the right the right button and press ESC escape in the keyboard. So here we have drawn the frame. Now we have to assign the support. Support assign put the parameter key away. We just select this point from top right, uh, left to bottom direction, then assign. Join, restrain. So, what is this support? This is basically a roller support. So, roller support is this, this one. So, we click here and then apply. Similarly, we select this, we click here, apply. And this is fixed support. We click here, then apply. So even though it's, uh, uh, it's looking like in the right side direction, perpendicular to this line, but here the fixed support is uh, shown like this. Okay. So we press save. Let's save the model.
beam 24 August. Okay, so file is saved. Now we apply the loading. Here to apply this 4.4k per feet, we select this is this is a UDL and this load applies on this frame. So we select the frame, then we go to the assign option, then we go to frame load. Since this is load, we don't go frame. If we go here in frame load, then distribute it. So we will apply it as a live load because if we apply it as a dead load, then this the sulfide of this beam will be added to this load. So we, we, we are neglecting the self -weight. So that's why we give the live load. And this load is 4.4. We have to pay attention to the unit. So since this is keep per feet, this is keep per feet, fine, apply. And here we have a 10 keep load, vertical downward. So we select this. We go to assign. This is join load or point load. So join load force. We apply it as a live load. And since this is downward direction, so downward is basically Z direction. So Z direction, we apply negative 10 because since this is downward, upward will number 10 di tam, to downward, a jono minus 10. Apply, apply. So here you can see that this 4.4K per feet is not visible here. It doesn't mean it doesn't have a load here. If we go here and press the right click, right click on the key, the air on blink or the tag way. I will economical option as a geometry. Geometry the key that has a cool point, a cool point, gets and what is this length? This is 10 feet. This is 10 feet. So, this is about the geometry and assignment. A judy that has assignment hoche, it a key section the American sea. I can other case of standard that property. Then, if we go here, load you see the load is in. Load pattern is live and uniform is 4.4 keep per feet. So this load is not deleted, even though we cannot see it. So it's not deleted. Okay. So you can also display load assigns frame. You see here, if we go here, apply, we can see the load. A load will be able to apply. Display load assign frame. A dead load is a bit okay. I said, I was a load key correction. Dead is a bit the idea. So I'm like the key live that they could apply. These loads are assigned as a live load. So everything done. Then we run the analysis. Before analysis, we can check the model. So check the model whether there has been any mistake. Like let's unlock the model. A can a key for the other. Analyze and check model for the variable. Select all options. Okay. So model has been checked. There is no warning. Now we can run analysis. This is F5 shortcut. This is elevation, displacement, it is a loader journal. Dead load. Dead load. Among a deflection, the key share each day. So here we have the detailed information about this. Uh, uh, how to say? Uh, uh, diagram. Ekhane theke amra ki korte pari? Display the gye amra jee tu reaction dekte chaachi. Ekhane theke display force stress support reaction. Amader ki shejon dekte hobe live load. Then we check F Z. Ekhane jodi arrow thake arrow. Okay. So you can see. This 19.1, uh, 28.75, and 6.14. Ekanamba table to the head of the table to the hell from the habit. Take a set. An arrow the hell, I'm a direction to show the table. I want to do Nichi Digas to tell you how to table at a negative. So I can am a jodi at a screenshot near at the body. I'm Rama the report preparation agent. I'm a key for the body at a screenshot near at the body. How can we take the screenshot? We can just Go here, snipping tool, snipping tool. New, new. I'm going to word file and paste for it.
So we just so this is our reaction. Okay, a figure take shape reactions. Now if we want to see the shear force diagram, then we can go here, display stress frame or link for live load we just press the share to do so this is our share for diagram here we cannot see the values to see the values tale amra ki korte pari value chhara ekta dekhte pari tale eta ekta amra ekta screenshot niye rakhi so this is basically SFD. Now, if we want to show the values, now we can see what we have to do. We have to do this. We have to do display frame or spandrel diagram. We have to do show values at the controlling point. We have to check this point, show the values at controlling point. So you can see the values from here as well. So this, this is minus 19.144, this is 24.886, this is minus 3.864, and this is 6.136. So we can paste it here. Now let's go for the bending moment diagram. So this is a shortcut. You see the display force diagram, you see the icon here. This icon is as similar as this icon, so we can Go from here. This is a shortcut. Moment three three. Moment three three. Okay. So it's like this. And if we just go to the undeformed shape, so this is our original structure. And we can see the loading from here. This is frame load, live, apply. You can see. So that's it. Okay, you can show me the 3D diagram and side other side views. Pretty. Snapping tool, go here to see the structure data. Okay, that's it. Thank you.